guys. It smells good in here. Hi, Aaron. Hi, How Adam. you doing? Good, good, good to good. see you. Welcome you to Sunnyside well. Restaurant. Thank you. This is my wife, Paulina. And Hello, guys. Three of our five kids. That's Mia, AJ, Hi. and Big Mike. Big Mike. And this is the owner of Sunnyside. <laughs> this is Bree Morgan. Hi, Bree. Smells good in here. My dad, Roland Cody. <laughs> Roland, nice to meet you as well. Roland, you must be proud of your son. I'm very proud of him. I don't think Sanford Springfield ever had, ever had a governor in the state of Maine. But more importantly, I think he really cares about people. You know, ever since he was this high, I knew there was something special about I got two sons. The other one is very special as well. This one has <laughs> always I had to add that in. <laughs> He'd be upset if I didn't, really. It looks like you have some good support behind yeah. you. You want some coffee? I absolutely. All right. Okay. Thank you. So you've got a military background, thank you for your service. Thanks. Uh, and some business background mm -hmm. that you're um, in right now. Talk a little bit about what you're up to, what you've been doing. Yeah, um, 20 years Maine National Guard, three combat deployments to Bosnia, Iraq, and Afghanistan. On the business and legal side, I've worked mostly in renewable energy. I've traveled all over the world. I've been to all sorts of different parts of the world. and. The thing that I keep coming back to every time I'm back in Maine is that we have such an abundance of natural resources. We have the ability to provide for ourselves. I get to travel uh, all over the state to meet people and I've seen some great success stories and some struggles. Mm -hmm. And how do we retain and attract young talent in those mill towns to, to grow again? It's a combination of three things. Infrastructure, anywhere you go in this state, we've got kids that are spending time in parking lots of libraries trying to do their homework. You can't sell blueberries outside your town if you don't have a good internet connection. So we need to improve our infrastructure. We need to do workforce training in a better way. Many parts of this state it's harder to find a plumber, electrician, or a finished carpenter than it is a lawyer. We need to start training people for the jobs that we need. We need to start focusing on what it is that we have competitive advantages in, and those would be real jobs. Those would be real jobs to be able to do that. We want to see, when our kids are getting out of school, that they have the opportunity that they could have. And for me, that's the most important thing. We're raising a young family. We love this state. I put my leadership up against anybody running for office. I've been tested and proven in some pretty tough areas. I understand the policy challenges we have. And I got a stake in this. Raising, Pauline and I are raising five young kids. We love this state. Well, my um, show is called Maine Life, and um, why don't we go across the street and see the kiddos again show and, you and my your Maine wife, life. and All let's right. do it. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Nice meet you. Thank you so much. We'll be back. <laughs> How has this been so far? This is a big step for your family, a big decision. It is. Yeah. We, we talked about it and we kept coming back to the fact that we love this state. We're raising a young family here and 10 years from now when our oldest daughter is getting out of college, we want there to be the opportunity. For us, that's what it's all about. It's about the next generation. It's about new leadership stepping up now uh, to lead and talk about what, we're, what our state's going to look like 10 years from now five little um, personalities that are going to be someday the future of Maine um, as they grow up. What's one thing that you hope they take away? We always say to them, to whom much is given, much is expected, and we say that over and over to them all the time. Yeah, to contribute and to do it in a positive, healthy way. Well, you both have done that for our country, so thank you thank too. You. Thank you. I thank you, and um, thanks so much for inviting us into your home. Thank you for being here. Thanks, thanks sir.